day to hold on Good morning guys. I just woke up. My eye is bothering me again because of my contact lens But I'm about to head out and just feed the horses really quick before we go. Whoa I'm not gonna feed them too much because we're leaving now So I'm thinking I'm just gonna give them one pad for them to share and then feed them inside the horse trailer They have this cute little run-in over here, but the horses haven't come to this side yet. Hi, come here Come here Come on Good morning They were too scared <laughs> They just kept running back to the other paddock because there's like two little paddocks and there's a little walkway that connects them both And they just want to stick to the first paddock and not go to the second one So I'll just feed them in the trailer. All right, we are heading out. It's kind of a gloomy day I don't know if you guys can tell. Hopefully by the time we get to the beach, it gets sunny. I know I tell you guys all the time that I like to ride when it's gloomy and stuff, but when I'm at the beach and there's water, I don't mind a little sun, you know? <laughs> but yeah, we're about to go hitch up the truck. We park the trailer up front and then we load up. Oh, I have to get the hay nuts and fill some hay nuts. You lift my heart up when the rest of me is down. You, you enchant me. Okay, so while Rob hitch up the trailer, I'm gonna go grab the horses. They didn't want to eat from that little shed I put the hay in. They're a little nervous still because this is a new place, but I brought some hay for them in the hay net. Hi, are you ready to go swimming? <laughs> So we just loaded up the horses and we're heading out to the beach. at a different beach depending on the time of the year from a certain month to a certain month you can go to a certain area on the beach and then after that month from a certain how do I explain that because of spring break and because of other people using the beach and like turtle season all that stuff it's like separated so let's say from October to December you can go to the beach on this side and then from December to June you go to the beach on that side you get what I'm trying to say it's like split up so we're actually not at the same beach we were last time it's still st. Augustine it's still the East Coast it's still the same beach but not the same location if that makes sense so I'm excited to see what this looks like we just parked we're gonna unload the horses and get ready to go swimming I'm so excited okay bye <laughs>
talking about when I say you ride bareback on brown horses, this is what happens. Look at my legs. Oh my gosh. I'm just hanging out here with the horses. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. I'm going to sleep. We've had so many cute little kids come and like pet the horses. And it's nice because it's not as packed as it was when we came last time. When we came to the beach for the first time, I'm going to leave that video linked down below if you guys want to watch it. There was a lot of people. I guess it's because it's a Monday. There's not really too many people. They should have little hitching posts here for you to like hitch up your horse and then you can have a picnic and stuff. But they have nowhere to tie them so you just have to hold on to them, which is fine. But still, it would be cool, right? beach I rinsed them off for a little bit gave crystal some water I actually had a little scare because I realized that I don't think she drank enough water last night and she was acting a little weird and she was trying to drink the ocean water so we cut it short and we decided to leave a little earlier she drank a bunch of water right now I gave her some of the shower water but she's doing much better now they're just eating <laughs> I got a little scared I was like what because she was trying to drink the ocean water and she was like being a little loopy, it freaked me out. I think she was just a little dehydrated and the salt water from the ocean wasn't helping. But yeah, besides that, it was a lot of fun. They did so good. They finally got used to the waves because that's what they were a little bit nervous about last time were the waves coming in fast. But they're completely used to it now. They did so good. I'm not sure if I got a lot of shots this time because I did want to just focus on hanging out with her and just working with her and stuff like that. Now we're going to load up and head out. <laughs> I look like a mess. I feel like a mess. And I just found out a hurricane's coming. This is crazy. They are back in their little paddock. Fresh hay and water. Check. We are back in the cottage. I am so excited to shower and wash my hair. It is so gross. And apparently there's like a storm coming tonight, so I'm a little nervous, but I think they'll be fine. All right, you guys. I just got out of the shower. I thought I would brush my hair and chat with you for a minute. We're leaving St. Augustine tomorrow morning. I'm in love with this Airbnb. It is so cute. Apparently it was an old barn that they turned into a little cottage. I really like it, and it's not that expensive either, and you can bring your horses to it too. So if you guys are interested in that, I will leave the link to this Airbnb in the description box. It's not sponsored at all, but I just, I really liked it. And just in case you guys are interested, I thought I would mention it. The lighting here is terrible, I know, but. But yeah, the horses did great at the beach. We had a lot of fun. This is definitely something I hope we do every year. I love it and it's such a great experience. And now that we found this cottage, it's even better. Because before we were driving here and then going to the beach and then leaving the same day. And it is kind of a long drive for us. So sometimes to just come for the day is like, it's so much driving, but now that we found this Airbnb, I definitely hope we do it more often. I need to cut my hair. <laughs> my hair grows so fast. Two years ago, I cut my hair above my shoulders, and now it's like this long. But I think I want to cut it not above my shoulders again, but at least a little shorter. I think we're just going to hang out for a while, maybe take a nap, and then go out to dinner a little bit later. I look so creepy right now. <gasps> I look so creepy with my hair like this and this lighting. Oh my god. So this Airbnb is actually for three people, and they have stuff here. Like the fridge is stocked, the pantry is stocked, the showers have shampoo and conditioner, anything you can need. I feel like I sound like a salesperson for Airbnb. I'm 
not <laughs> but I just thought you guys would like to know I mean last time I came to the beach a lot of you guys asked me what beach where how so I'm trying to give as much info as I can this time I'm gonna go ahead and take a nap see you guys later oh and a little update on crystal she's 100% again two hours later all right you guys I just changed we took a little nap and now we're gonna go head out to dinner this is my first time wearing this top I don't know how I feel about it but I might as well wear it right <laughs> and I'm too lazy to put makeup on today so no makeup let's go to dinner because I am starving. Aeropostal, my top is from Hollister. You guys need to let me know. This top is kind of weird, right? Like it's abnormally short, but like I feel weird, like a balloon over here. 20 minutes later. We came to an Asian place called Lemongrass. I ordered some Pad Thai. I'm excited because I'm starving and I can't wait to eat. I recently just tried Pad Thai for the first time like six months ago. I never tried it. And then ever since then, I am in love with it. So I'm excited. Mm, the food is here. Dessert time! It's like the best ice cream. Sabrina thinks it's not and she thinks I'm disgusting, but I really like this ice cream. 12 o'clock midnight. You guys, I am obsessed with this little cottage. I'm just really shocked at how well this place is set up. There's little notes all over the place. Let me show you the fridge and the pantry. Oh, look at this little sharpener. I thought this was the cutest thing. Look, they have all this stuff. Coffee, sweetener, stevia. Look at this, ready? Oatmeal, look at all this stuff guys, rice, pasta, and they have everything. We haven't eaten anything besides like we made ourselves coffee and stuff because we've mostly been eating out. I'm, I'm like so shocked they have this because oh, I'm always in need of some of this. Okay, <laughs> I'm raving too much about this place. I'm gonna go to sleep now. <laughs> Good night. Mm -hmm. 